put another great big shrimp on here and I'm getting a bite. See my rod tip going? See my rod tip going? Got him. Fish on. All right. Good trout. That's a good trout. That's what that is. Whoa, he took me under the boat. What a strong fish. Golly. I want my rod back. Good trout. Look at that big old trout. Man. All right, we've caught a big one. There. There's a big old speck for you right there. That's what we came to Bay St. Louis to do. Mississippi, all kinds of good fishing in Mississippi. And that's a big old, that's a gator trout right there. Oh, and away he goes. Ready to go. So the subtleties about fishing these reefs are this. Uh, Captain Sonny Schindler is helping us out. He, he taught me a lot of what I've learned about these reefs. But they've got all that concrete and the concrete goes underwater and tapers off and you want to be feeling your way along the edge of the concrete. So what he said basically is if you're not getting snagged and losing some hooks, then you're not fishing right. So you better bring a supply of hooks. You've actually got to throw it out there and feel that rough concrete and there's some oyster shells down there too. And you got to feel that with your rod tip and you want to keep your rod tip high. So when I'm fishing this bait, the technique is to keep that rod tip up high so that that croaker can't swim his way down in the cracks of those rocks. Keep him up a little high and feel your way along the rocks and you're going to lose some. But when you bring it across a rock, you feel a little snag, you pull it loose, that's when you get a bite. So that's just a little trick, a little subtle to get up close to them, but don't throw right up in the thick stuff. Try to find that outside edge out here in about eight or nine feet of water.